This boy had shark gills growing out of ribs, teeth as sharp as knives, shark fins on his back. Shark boy was raised by a group of sharks. The sharks trained him in their own way. He could swim fast in the water. One day he got lost and met Max. A boy who was fishing, Max took him home. He made him a big fish tank and let him swim in the water. They became good friends. A girl showed up at Max's house. Her body was covered in red lava. She came to Shark Boy to save Planet True. Max told the story to the class. The students scoffed and couldn't believe it was true. Suddenly there was a storm outside the window. Shark Boy and Lava Girl appeared in the classroom. Lava Girl's head can rotate 180 degrees everywhere she went. All the workbooks caught fire. The students finally believe that Max is telling the truth. They've come to ask Max to come with them to save Planet Tool. This planet was created in Max's dream, but it's being destroyed by dark forces. Max turned them down because he didn't believe it was real either. Until he saw a giant shark ship, Max went on a journey into space. A giant picked up a cookie, and on the cookie stood three children. Before the cookie got into the giant's mouth, the three kids jumped just in time to land on the sandwich. The giant wasn't too happy with the taste of the cookie. Turns around and leaves. Shark Boy stepped on a sticky liquid. He dipped his hand in it and smelled it. Tasted it. It was chocolate. Max happily ate the chocolate. Shark Boy scooped up the liquid in the river and it was milk. They arrived at milk and cookie land on planet Drool. Everything here was built in Max's dreams. But the dark forces of the electricity are destroying the planet. He's currently chasing them with his plug dogs. Max must enter the dream world to escape. Max dreamed of Shark Boy's motorboat. But he forgot to refuel it. The plug dogs caught up with him. Lava Girl fought off a few of the socket dogs with her flames, but there were too many of them. Lava Girl got tangled up in the wires. She melted herself to escape. She reminds Max to daydream his way out of this mess. Max concentrates and tries to imagine a shark boat appearing. Instead, a banana ice cream boat appeared. His companions were disappointed, but it was too late. Luckily, they escaped in the banana boat into the river. Minus' head suddenly grew as big as a balloon. His body couldn't support the weight, and he fell upside down. Unable to move, he threw his head out of the air. He fluttered in the air and returned to his original form. In reality, Minus often bullied Max. He took and altered Max's dream journal. Minus wanted to crush Shark Boy and Lava Girl. He ordered Electricity to lure Shark Boy into the sea and attacked him with electric heels. Lava Girl jumped into the water to save Shark Boy. She lost her energy. Max was no longer afraid of Minus. He awakened his powers. Minus launched piranhas at him. Max creates bubbles, wrapping the piranhas in them. The rock that Minus was standing on suddenly rises rapidly. And so did Max. He persuaded Minus to dream better dreams for a better world. He offered to build a bridge, held out his hand to make peace with Minus. Minus walked up to the bridge. The bridge suddenly broke. The two boys fell together. Max used two wooden planks as propellers. He saved Minus. The four of them abandoned their hatred and became friends. But Electricity didn't want to give up so easily. He flew to Earth. Will Earth be safe? 